All right, now at 5, 25 guns seized on CMS campuses so far this school year. Officials now are not releasing details after a gun was found yesterday at Harding University High School. Now, this incident alone is a cause for concern from parents, but it is only part of a bigger problem with Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy joins us live outside of West Charlotte High School. Robin, you found out about an anti-violence program there. Tell us about it. That's right, Brian and Alicia. The very first Students Against Violence Everywhere program was started right here at West Charlotte High School years ago after a student was shot and killed. It was an off-campus party. He was trying to break up the fight. Somebody pulled out a gun, shot him point blank. It was almost 33 years ago, but Alex Orange is still remembered at West Charlotte High School. The kids came back after spring break and they wanted to do something. Gary Wirt was a teacher back then, and he made the kids a promise. He would help them stop the violence. The young people have to be part of the solution. Uh, they're always being called part of the problem, but they have ideas that are absolutely amazing. Gary continues to work with students and teachers to start Students Against Violence Everywhere, or SAVE Promise Clubs. Police have taken 25 guns off CMS campuses this school year, including one this week at Harding University High School. It takes everybody in a school. Queen City News continues to ask CMS for its solutions. The district spent almost half a million dollars to buy 46,000 clear backpacks. And as far as we know, they're still sitting in a warehouse waiting to be handed out. CMS told us almost exactly a month ago that the backpacks came in for high school students. We've tried to find out what's taking so long, but we got no answers from CMS. Gary says that clear backpacks can only help, but teaching students that it's okay to speak up is more important. It's okay to tell. It's okay. It might save your best friend's life. It might save your life. Now, CMS did not respond today when I asked them exactly when those clear backpacks are going to be handed out to students. Brian? Yeah, Robin, the backpacks are one thing, but one other thing CMS has been talking about is metal detectors. Any idea if that's still up for discussion? No idea yet on metal detectors, Brian. CMS has that safety work group that has been working to look into different solutions, including metal detectors. They also have talked about that Say Something reporting app that is in use right now here in CMS. And they've also recommended those clear backpacks, but we have not heard anything recently on metal detectors, Brian. All right, several efforts right now for protecting kids at CMS. All right, Robin, thank you.